A lot of people are talking about E3 today, and that's the first day of it. So what I'm going to talk about here is Microsoft's and EA's. Now, EA's, I didn't watch all of it because, well, EA shows some pathetic games and some really cool games. Let me start off with Microsoft and my thoughts, okay? So Microsoft comes out with probably one of the worst intros ever. I'm not a fan of Rock Band, and I don't really care about the Beatles. So here they come with Rock Band, the Beatles, whatever. Then Tony Hawk comes out, and I'm like... God, this conference sucks. I was, like, disappointed, okay, for the first, like, 20 minutes. So then the guy comes out and he says, for, oh, no, he he says, oh, then we see Call of Duty. I'm not a big Call of Duty fan, but, you know, at least it's a game trailer that I can enjoy. So I saw Call of Duty said, this is pretty cool. I know a lot of people are going to love how it looks. And it's great that we finally get a game trailer. So then he comes out, the guy, whoever he is, and says, from here on out, all the games I show are Xbox 360 exclusives. So I'm like, all right, well, one definitely better be Splinter Cell and maybe some new game. So I think the first one was Crackdown, I believe. Right? Yeah, Crackdown comes out. I have to say, I'm not a huge fan of the first, but this one looks pretty cool. I like the whole monsters and all that in the from the you know trailer. So we'll see how that goes. Um, then Left 4 Dead 2 comes out. I like that, too. I thought that was pretty cool. But, you know, these are just trailers. We're not seeing any actual footage. So then comes Splinter Cell. Holy shit, did Splinter Cell just whoop some ass on the game floor. This game made me want this game now. There's very few games that, you know, I want to play all these games, but what I want now is Splinter Cell more than any other game. Splinter Cell looked fucking amazing. Fucking amazing. It was beautiful. I, I just, I loved it. Um, it was, it's just, you guys, just watch the trailer, you know what I'm saying? Real time fucking, you know, uh, putting the shit on the head so you're targeting them, and then bam, 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 he shoots these motherfuckers like he was Rambo, it was just beautiful. And then the stealth looks great, I mean, the game just looks excellent, I, I personally cannot wait. They tell the story on the wall by flashbacks, I mean, the game, it's stunning, I, simple as that, I just, I really want to see this game now. So Splinter Cell was a real huge thing. Let's go back a little. I forgot. Before they say exclusive, they showed Final Fantasy XIII. Um, mostly the demo is the demo I have. So I already seen the footage. But what I did like to see is that there's English voice acting already. This is great. That means they're stepping into the direction of getting the English voice acting out. And we're going to go see some uh, Final Fantasy XIII in the spring 2010. Splinter Cell, on the other hand, is coming out this year. This is so good. I, can, I, I really can't wait. It's jumped from my list of where the hell is Splinter Cell to goddamn, I gotta get this game this year. It's one of my most hyped games. Um, then we see, I, now if, I, I may have got, you know, confused. I'm pretty sure next we see Halo ODST. Halo ODST looks pretty badass itself. Um, you know, it's Halo. It's an expansion. It's not the most amazing thing I've ever seen, but, you know, it was a cool trailer. I liked it. And then we got Halo Reach, which takes place before Halo 1. It's based on the books. That looks good, too. So I'm pretty hyped about both of those. Not amazing. <laughs> then Mr. Mr. Kojima heads onto the stage. At first, I'm going to be honest, I thought it was Metal Gear Solid 4. And my thought after that was, hell, I'm going to buy it anyway because I love Metal Gear Solid 4. It was not Metal Gear Solid 4. It was Metal Gear Solid Rising or Metal Gear... Rising. I don't know which one it is, but it's one of those. Anyway, it stars Raiden. This is really cool. Now, people are a bit confused. Microsoft did not say that it's an exclusive right there. Kojima didn't say exclusive. But going off the spokesman who spoke in the beginning who said every game after this is an Xbox 360 exclusive, I'm just taking a guess Metal Gear is on there. If it's not, it's not. Doesn't matter. I'm buying it anyway. So I'm really hyped about Metal Gear. You know, I really want to see a different gameplay because Raiden got pretty damn badass in the fourth one. So that was also a great announcement. Uh, then they showed... Uh, did they show another game after this? <sighs> ah, I forgot. I I'm pretty sure they showed something. I'll look it up while I'm talking. Um, talking about this new innovation thing, um, I really like the look of it. It basically captures your body. And, uh, your movements and everything, and then you can, you know, watch it. It's just, you can move and talk to people, uh, and the AI and everything. It's, it just looks really cool. And I know some people are like, it's another Wii thing. Well, if this is a Wii copy, I think it outdid Wii by far. That's just me, though. I thought it looked great, and I can't wait for it. Though I'm not expected to be out for a long time. Um, oh, going back, Alan Wake. 
finally we get some Alan Wake gameplay. Alan Wake looks badass. I, a lot of people won't like it because it's not all gun, run, shoot shit. You know, this is like, uh, it's a horror game. Slash, uh, it's heavily uh, story driven. It's slower pace. But damn, it looks awesome. And tell me if you've ever seen a flare gun be used in such an awesome situation. The motherfucker shot a flare gun into an enemy. Okay? That's badass. Okay? I, I can't wait for that. So that's basically Microsoft. I loved it. I loved their press conference. You know, last year was okay. I liked Fallout, you know. But that's basically it. I didn't really care about the rest of their shit. This year, it's just, to me, they, they stepped up their game. They came with it. They got some good games, such as Left 4 Dead and Crackdown, looking good. And then they got some damn right amazing games like Splinter Cell, Alan Wake. And I'm sorry, I think the Milo thing looks awesome. Okay, that's just me, though. I'm not saying everybody has to agree. I think it just looks awesome. <laughs> Um, ignore that barking. Okay, sorry about that. So then EA comes out. Now EA, I didn't watch all of it, but from what I understood, we got some pretty cool things. Um, Mass Effect, I already seen the trailer and the same thing for Dragon Age. But I am, as always, extremely hyped for it. I can't wait for either one, and thumbs up to both. I can't wait to see them both. So, oh, and Dante's Inferno is looking pretty good too. I mean, to me it looked pretty cool. Um, so I got those games on EA, and I mean, I'm not expecting much from uh, Knights of the Old Republic um, MMO, but shit, that trailer was fucking sick. I mean, the fight scene was better than most of the episodes. I say all the episodes. I loved it. So, to wrap this up so you don't get bored of me, there's a Ubisoft thing going on soon. Can't wait to see Assassin's Creed, uh, Beyond Good and Evil, and whatever else they got to show. Can't wait. But overall, so far, the E3's pretty damn good. Um, I, I'm still hyped about Sony's, despite, I think, Microsoft just being fucking excellent this year. I'm pretty hyped about Sony's. I'm hopefully we see more than just Uncharted and God of War. I'm hoping to see some new games from them. Animusha, come on. Animusha, Capcom, bring it back. You know, something. But, um, we'll see tomorrow. Nintendo, you know, it's Nintendo. I just want to see a new Zelda, goddammit. Show a new Zelda and I'll be happy. Or Mario, or something. Just show something to get me hyped about your shit again. <laughs> But overall, great, great E3 so far. I hope everybody's enjoyed. I know a lot of fanboys are going to fight over blickering and bullshit. But remember, this is great for the gaming community. Stop bitching, buy all the systems, enjoy all the games. And fucking Splinter Cell has to come out like right now. Because it's badass.